What's going on guys? RC and Trains are back with another video. And as you guys can see from the title, today's video will be completing the upper loop of the locking layout. And the things that are not done to the layout yet um, is basically just one stretch of flex track in the back of the layout, which I'll show you guys right now. Uh, it is right there, as you guys can see. Sort of that section right there is uh, does not have anything on it. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Um, I'm probably just going to be... Um, sort of time-lapsing most of the video, but uh, um, other parts I might be sort of uh, walking you guys through what I'm doing. Some of the more complicated steps, but some of the basic steps I'm just gonna skip over for the uh, sake of time in this video. So, as you guys can see, this is where the loop is at this point. It's actually coming along pretty well. Hopefully in this video, we'll get some trains actually running around on the upper loop. Um, that is my plan for today. Um, to get the shea, which is sitting right there, to getting the shea running around the layout with an actual consist. So that would be pretty cool if I can get that running for you guys. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get started. All right, so we're up here on the section of track that we need to be uh, connecting. So as you guys can tell, uh, this is one side of the track and this is the other side. Um, it is currently just nailed down. We're still testing out uh, how this is actually out, all going to go together. But um yeah, so basically all I really need to do is trim these down so these rails are equal length to the shorter ones and then cut a custom sized piece of track that will fit in the middle. So I'm going to get started with that right now. Um, what I'm going to start with actually I think is snipping these rails. And one thing you guys want to be uh, careful about when you snip rails, um, try and cut them super evenly. Um, even after that you probably want to sand down um, the area you've cut so that's just something you guys probably good for you guys to know if you were a beginner with working on track so let me get started with that all right so i have both sides all fitted to the right length it looks like i'm going to try and fit some rail joiners on just to see if i made the cuts the right size or not the right size uh uh made the cuts well so that one went on pretty well as you guys can see this one should be easy because that's just the normal rail that i didn't actually cut this side, however, may be a bit uh, more of a stretch because I felt like this side didn't cut as well. Yeah, and it looks like we're going to have to sand that down. Th that's no problem, actually. All you just want to do is going to get your fine grit sandpaper. I don't actually know what grit of sandpaper I'm using right now, but uh, you're just going to sort of file down to a point. Um, just get off all like, the weird burrs and stuff off the rails. All right, hopefully that worked, guys. If not, no big deal. We can just keep sanding it. As you guys can see, the rail joiner went on no problem to that one. So that actually worked out really well. All right, so now that we have two sides that are equal length and have rail joiners ready to accept track, I'm going to grab my piece of flex track and just sort of measure out the length of track I need and then cut accordingly. Um, the way I'm just going to do this is just sort of eyeballing it, uh, and like I said, this is still a test. Um, so if it, this doesn't work, there's no no big deal about it. It's not permanent at all. So. All right, and so I have my piece of track here, and now I'm just going to trim off a few of the rails, um, just so I can slide a rail joiner on, because that's how that... That's how you do that, is by taking off the, the rail, or not the, the rails, the ties, sorry. Alright, so this should be of appropriate length. But I'm going to need to sand, I'm probably just going to sand down this whole thing, honestly. None of this really felt like it cut super well, um, just because of the weird angles and stuff like that. So I'm just going to sand all this down. Okay, so I think this should be ready to go in now. We got one side, we got two in, just gotta fix this rail joiner. There we go, there's one side, and here is the other side, and hopefully these will accept. Uh, this side is not looking like it's gonna go in. Oh, well, there's one. This one is looking to be more stubborn than the other ones. 
So I re-sanded it and now I'm gonna see if it fits now. Uh, so there's one side, and there's the other side. Yep, it worked, nice. Okay, so now that we have our pieces of tracking, we're just gonna wanna drive nails through the holes that are preset into the track. So it's just gonna look like this. And you don't need force like that. You don't really need a hammer. You're just gonna wanna slide them through. You're gonna wanna center them through the cork. But I'm sure most of you guys know that. Situated. All right, and there it is, guys. Our piece of track is actually installed. And as you guys can tell, there are some gaps in it. I don't know if we'll actually use this for the final track. Um, the gaps like this, it, they don't look good, but they will work. It'll just be a bit of a clickety-clack area, I guess you could say. But uh, we might end up cutting a better-looking piece of rail um, or better-fitting piece of rail eventually. So my next thing is I'm going to hook up a consist for the shade to run around with and make sure this all works. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, guys, here's the Shea and it's consist all hooked up. As you guys can hear, it's actually running, so I'm gonna get this guy uh, moving. Well, here it goes. This side has already been tested and it's uh, proven to work, so I'm not too worried about this side. It's just the other side that we just haven't tested yet. And I'm pretty sure it'll work as it's just a straight part, but it's always good to test stuff uh, before you do anything crazy. Here it comes, down over the new section, and it looks really good, guys, I have to say. It's actually running pretty well. And I'm down, as you guys can tell, I don't know if you can see really well on camera, but this actually slopes down. This is a bit of a grade to, to, to the pink foam. The blue foam is actually a little taller than the pink foam, so we had to carve away and actually make this a grade, but it actually works out pretty well. So I'm gonna go to the outside and get some shots of this thing running around. All right, here it is running around. It's always so cool to look at those geared locomotives and here's a look at our new section. So yeah, I would definitely have to call this one a success. Um, there were nothing, nothing really went uh, wrong along the way. So this was definitely a, a, a very successful video. Um, I guess this would be logging layout update number three, I believe, at this point. Um, and this is a pretty big jump as we now have trains actually running um, in a loop, so it just continuously running. So this is a pretty big uh, success. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see anything, uh, anything specific from me, please put it down in the comments as I really enjoy shooting videos that you guys want to see. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video.